So what we're looking at here is an HP uh, Pavilion 504N. So let's take a look at this thing. And we'll take a nice look at her. And, uh, yes. I haven't done a uh, one of these in a little bit. It's been a little bit since I've done one of these. Where I like to take apart, uh, you know, some computer stuff. Take a look at it. See how it's built. Oh, that's for storing discs in. Okay. Oh, what is down here? Oh, we have some. Uh, oh, what do you call those again? But uh, this came in a couple of weeks ago. And I've been sitting on it and waiting to uh, check it out. See what it's like. And... Hopefully, we'll be able to open her up and see what's in her. See if there's been any upgrades. I'm not sure. There's the back. And is there a date on here? Like, what year is this? So, is there a date on here anywhere? Um, but I... Well, it says HP Pavilion 500 on here. What did it say on the front again? It says HP Pavilion 500 on here. I don't see a date on here either. So, uh, let us continue with the opening of it up. So, I'm guessing both sides come off on this. This is a huge case. It's a very big case. So, there we go. And I'll turn her so you can look inside of her and uh, take a good look at her. Um, there isn't much to this. This is kind of just like your office, kind of like a uh, type of computer system. Um, looks like hard drive is right here. Is this do? Does that release anything? Does that release anything? Ouch. Nope, doesn't seem to. Um, well, I'm gonna flip her on her side so we can get a better look in there. So, there we go, I got her on her side. These are to push. It's got a cable here. What is that for? Oh, speaker. It's a speaker cable. Uh, screwdriver of some sort. Um, okay, that does come off. It's like a wind tunnel of some sort to be able to uh, keep this thing cool. Got the old technology in her for the uh, a lot of things. <laughs> a lot of old technology in these old ones. Okay, don't come off. I want you to come off, but you don't want to come off. You can see it was never cleaned. That's always a good sign, isn't it? I haven't done a computer one in a while, so it's just interesting to see what's actually in these. I don't usually do as many computer ones now. This might be the last one unless somebody likes watching them. Um, there we go, I got that out. Oh, so this is just for the uh, phone jacks to be put into this thing for, I'm guessing, uh, no, there's the ethernet cables there. It's just phone jack. Don't know how that comes out. So. Uh, 
uh, know how this works. So, let's see, I got the clips off. That hold down the aluminum block. Ooh, that's a nice chunk of aluminum. Wonder what I can use that for. Hmm, maybe just aluminum recycling. Uh, what do we got? What do we got? We got a chip down here. So, it's an old style. It's got pins. Uh, let's wipe it off. Uh, what do I got here to... There we are. Wipe it off. Let's see what we got. Thermal paste is quite dry on here, so so there's the chip. Now what do we have? Intel 2002 Celeron 2 gigahertz 128-400-1.525 volt uh, from Costa Rica. All right, so I'm pretty sure that's pretty well useless nowadays. So. Probably didn't do much. It wasn't very powerful, it looks like. Not very powerful at all. But, uh, uh, hard drive. I'll have to try to get that out later because I may want to get the magnets out of it. Um, let's take a look in here. This fan is, looks like it's been well used. And, uh, what else do we got in here? Oh, we have a stick of RAM. So we do have a stick of RAM in here. Let me see if I can get that out. Sometimes these are a pain. There we go, I got her. We'll see what we got for RAM in here. So, uh, made in Korea, by the way. 256 megabyte DDR. So, does that mean uh, 256 on each one of these, or the whole stick? Um, I don't know. I'm guessing it's, it doesn't say, you know, it just says 256 megabytes of uh, DDR, 266 megahertz CL 2.5. So, I'm guessing this is just... 256 megabytes. I'm not sure on that. Uh, looks like the power source was a very small power source, by the way. And probably didn't do much. Probably, like, it looks small and it is dirty. Like, that is a dirty power supply there. Wow. But this looks like it would have served the purpose. Looks like it's 2002. Since that is what the Celeron said, 02. And I can't believe just uh, 22 years ago, this is how they were made. Wow. This is something. Well, I'm not going to look at it too much. Um, didn't want to make a long video out of this. Just taking a look at how these things were put together. And this one, you know, good old Hewlett, Hewlett Packard. So. Uh, it says Pavilion 500. Oh, yeah, and then on the front it says Pavilion 504N. So, oh, okay, it's it's over 500. It's 504. So, there we go. I took a look at it. Took apart a few things here. Got inside to see what it looked like. And, uh, yeah, it's an interesting, uh, interesting kind of computer. Uh, I can't say... I may have owned one of these, actually, which is probably sad. But yeah, I think I did own one of these. A Hewlett Packard Pavilion, like this, 500 or whatever. Way back in the days. Like, way back. When I was younger. But that'll do it for this one. And thanks for watching. And, uh, well, I didn't learn much from it, so... It's just uh, what it looked like inside way back in the good old days. Thanks for watching.